Hello friends. Today I'm looking at the Cherry Valance Garage Rock from Raleigh, North Carolina beginning in 1998. Jamie Williams, Brian Quast, Nick Whitley, Eric Sugg, and Charles Storr. All of these guys switch off and on drums and guitar and vocals. That happens, I get it. This fairly modern act admits to standing on the shoulders of hard rockers of the 70s. They toured relentlessly across the US. The first release was a seven inch in 99, and then two LPs on Estrus Records followed before bassist Suver and guitarist Chidi Kumar left to form Birds of Avalon in 2004. Their name is a reference to someone in The Outsiders. That's a 1967 novel by S.C. Hinton, which was made into a film by the same name in 1983. Apparently it had an influence on this band. Looks like it was a Quast and Whitley who traded instruments during their sets. This band is very rough around the edges, that's why we like them. But they sound like virtuosos after hearing a Sonic Youth set, in my opinion. Here's the album's one, The Cherry Valance and 20 aught one, it's harsh and rough and tumble, lo fi and real. Two, riffin' in 02, snarly guitars with monotone vocals. Three, revival, that's an EP in 02. And then TCV3 in 05. So, this is a beer culture band, I guess. Their road grime gives them credentials as they have played to packed houses everywhere. This year shows people are yet, aren't yet done with honest 70s rock and racket. Is this a retro act? Yes, I believe it is. Kick out the jams, fellow fellators.